Next is uh, the mean, the variance, and stand, uh, standard deviation. So, same lang naman yung formula to find the sample mean, sample variance, and standard deviation. Uh, the only difference is uh, we are using sample and the data can be uh, the population. So, or yung own klase, kaya meron tayo, uh, we have to include the population uh, means, population variance, and standard deviation. So, same lang naman sila pag yung sa formula. So example, uh, we have a given table on the board. Uh, they are the scores of eight randomly selected uh, students. So it's a BN, we have to use uh, the board sample kasi randomly selected eh. So kumuha lang tayo ng sample dun sa mga students. So they are the graded students. That's why we have to compute for the sample mean, sample, uh, sample variance, and sample standard deviations. So, yung mga yan, uh, they are the scores, so yung x, so they are the scores of uh, the eight students. So, ngayon, uh, we have to compute the sample name, the sample variance, and the sample standard deviation. So, even naman lagi, hindi naman kayo pwede makapag, uh, hindi naman kayo makapag-compute the sample name kung wala kayong raw score. So, in our table, given na yung mga raw scores nila, and then uh, that is uh, written in this column, sa column ng x. So, si student 1 got 7, 8, 12, 15, 10, and so on. For the column x, you just have to find the summation of these scores. So, if you add 7, 8, 12, 15, 10, 11, 9, 14, so the sum is 86. Sabihin, summation of x is equal to 86. Ilan ang students natin? Siyempre, 8. So, that is our and so to find the sample mean or ganyan symbol ito yung formula na sample mean is equal to summation of x over n so ano ba yung summation of x natin 86 ilan ba yung n natin 8 so we have 8 uh, students So, 86 divided by 8. So, 10.75. It means the sample mean is 10.75. How to find the sample variance or S squared? So, since we are using sample, so the symbol is S or ayan, sample variance S squared. So, summation of quantity x minus x bar square all over n minus 1. So in this case, uh, we have to get, uh, we have to compute, or I mean we have to complete the table. So we have column for x minus mean and we have a column for quantity x minus mean square. So, ilatuhin muna natin. So x, ito yung pagkukunan, kukuha na natin. Yung mean, syempre yung 10.75. So, Papakita ko sa glit, 7 yung x minus mean 10.75 7 minus 10.75 10.75 So the answer is negative 3.75 So hindi mo i-apply ito Negative 3.75 Dito naman, 8 ang x minus mean na 10.75 8 minus 10.75 So the answer is 2.75 I mean negative 2.75 Then 12 minus 10.75 So that is 1 Positive 1.25 And then 15 minus 10.75 The answer is 4.25 Then 10 minus 10.75 So the answer is negative 0 0.75 11 minus 10.75 So that is 0 0.25 9 minus 10.75 Negative 1.75 And then 14 minus 10.75 so, 3.25.
So that is for the whole group x minus e. Next, we have to square uh, the value na nandito sa column na to. So dito, makikita ko under tayo ng mga negative numbers. Kasi possible na mas mataas ang e kumpara dito sa x formula. Kaya magiging negative. Pero pagdating sa column na to, since naka-square siya, kahit negative yan, magiging positive. It means sa column na to, wala akong nakikita ang negative numbers. So, negative 3.75 multiplied by negative. So, in rule of multiplication, magiging positive siya. So, 3.75 square. So, that would be 14.0625. Dito kasi mo lang ako, hindi muna kayo nagaroon po sa 2 decimal places. So, kung 4 or 5 decimal places, uh, yun lang ang uh, i-round up nyo. I-round up nyo muna sa 4 or 5 decimal places. 2.75 So, that would be 7.5625 0.5625 So, ito na ngayon yung uh, complete. Ngayon, ang kailangan nyo lang dyan ay yung summation ng Uh, follow na to. So, kailangan yung summation ng x minus x bar square. So, kailangan na siyang i-add lahat. So, magiging total niyan is 10.5.65.3.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.
Tapos ito ay magiging sa new text uh, Instead na x bar, magiging new Kasi populated na, uh, populated na siya So yun yung dito So dito naman uh, Ito ay populated new Ayan. So, same lang naman ang method, iba lang yung tawag. So, same lang rin sila ng formula. So, iba lang yung mga symbols na ginagamit natin. Pero, they have the same process to find uh, the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation.